Tyler and I were sitting at home one day. We had a short break from our work over across the street at the American, and we were just scrolling on Facebook and we saw that this space was for sale, and we decided on a whim to come look at it. And we absolutely fell in love with it. It had been sitting vacant since the 1950s, and we wanted to, to bring it back to life and to, to make something out of it that people could use instead of it to just continue to sit here vacant. We especially wanted to continue the historic downtown development and we really started thinking about it and thought well hey well, this space would be perfect for a historic boutique hotel right downtown. It'd be a totally different experience than you know staying at a chain or staying in a, in a really large hotel with kind of broad stroke service and you know we could really focus on the individual experience of each person staying with us. This is a boutique hotel. We have six rooms and each room is completely different. It's different in size, design, feel, decor and so you can stay here six different times and have six different experiences. We have a cafe on site and so breakfast and, and lunch and brunch is available. We also with the American across the street can do lunch and dinner so we've had guests that maybe were arriving you know too late to come out to dinner um, but they let us know in advance and so we were able to actually prepare them something special and have it in the room when they arrive. We've also had a lot of weddings so we're happy to be a small part in people's big day where we have brides come in they get ready with their bridesmaids we can then cater their weddings do rehearsal dinners the food for the wedding and then brunch the next morning so we're really kind of a one-stop shop when it comes to all kinds of ex different experiences that you can have downtown. Naturally, it ended up costing us a little bit more than we had originally you know, budgeted. The first port city approached us and they had a lot of confidence in us to the point that they approached us about helping us with this project. They believed in what we were doing enough to refinance the project and actually extend us a little bit more and see it through opening day. If we weren't able to get that loan, we literally may not have, have made it. Since day one, since we opened, we've been very, very successful. And so uh, they definitely were a part of making that happen. We have someone that we work directly with and he's easy to get a hold of. I might shoot him a text, send him an invoice, email him, whatever, whatever it might be. He takes care of whatever it is that we need taken care of very quickly. And We have more of a relationship than we have a banker. So we really appreciate that and that's important to us too. We really appreciate our relationship with First Port City and that they're putting people first.